Everybody and welcome back to Casual Aquatics. Today we're going to talk about freshwater clams in your aquarium and the benefits of keeping them in your aquarium. So what is a clam? Clams are bivalve mollusks that generally thrive in both freshwater and salt water. Although clams resemble mussels and oysters, they have two different characteristics that separate them from those others their method of locomotion and movement of foot and also their methods of feeding which we'll get into that these types of mollusks are omnivores meaning they will eat both plant and animal dead matter at its smallest finest point they don't have a voracious appetite but their diet consists of algae byproducts from symbiotic algae zooplankton photoplankton and any organic matter floating through the aquarium as filter feeders clams will eat any nutritional food that comes through their siphons. Clams will use their foot to move around in the aquarium to better position their self in different waters that has the most nutrition and value in it. However, they don't bind their cells to substrate like oysters do. They just burrow down enough to be in cover and eat. Clams can obtain food by inhaling water through their intake siphon and then it comes back out through their exhalation siphon and through that process it's breaking down all the nutrients and stuff it needs out of it and then sends it back out clams also have another way for obtaining food they form a symbiotic relationship with algae such as zooxanthellae this algae actually lives in the mantle of the clams and while the mollusk is taking in the nutrition and nitrogen that the algae needs to feed the algae in turn therefore providing the clam with nutrients that it needs to survive so how are they beneficial to your aquarium clams filter feeding process has a giant impact on any waters they inhabit specifically preventing the buildup of algae and low oxygen levels in your aquarium which can otherwise lead to killing your fish and high nitrogen levels and stuff like that one large clam can filter up to 24 gallons of water a day in search of food so if you have multiples just do the math this tanks a 60 gallon tall so the both of them are filtering almost 50 gallons of it in a day clams hibernate out in nature in the wild so they can withstand freezing temperatures up to i would say about 80 90 degrees so in your fish tank i i don't even know if they will hibernate we will find out the big question is what can you keep them with i have seen people keep them in like community settings with very small fish that are like mid and top level fish barbs and guppies and such i however am trying with my axolotls and they don't seem to bother them and neither one does a whole lot of movement in this aquarium so i figured it would work out and again 
we will see maybe there'll be an update video like uh oh my axolotl somehow got this thing open you do not want to keep them with cichlids and eels and large fish or puffers things that can crush their shell or that's strong enough to pry it open to get to their soft tissue on the inside fun fact Humans are their number one predator, followed by crabs, eels, then angelfish, and octopi. Surprisingly, puffers is last on that list. They may not be the most exciting creatures, but they have some interesting facts about them, and they are very beneficial to the environment, and in this case, to your aquarium. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, as always, stay casual.